Hello guys, today we continue our Checklister project, but before we dive into the content, one announcement. So a few days ago, I announced that some of that Checklist course will be available only on Teachable for Premium members, and I received quite a few comments that blame me, for example, for Bait and Switch and others pretty angry people angry or upset about the fact that I've changed my mind during this course. And I was doing that with good intentions to give back to the people who actually paid me the money, so I thought to give more attention to them. Because now it's kind of not fair, the ratio that I spend time on my YouTube versus the ratio that I spend the time on courses, which people paid money for. So I thought to move in that direction. But in hindsight, for this course, you're probably right that in the middle of this course, I cannot really change the promise. I promised it everything for free, step by step, so I need to keep that promise. So I change that back, and from now, Checklister, all the course will be on YouTube for free. The only difference will be the speed. So on YouTube, I will publish Checklister lesson every second day. So there will be one Checklister lesson, one different topic, one Checklister, one different topic. And for the courses subscribers on Teachable, I have more published videos every day, probably, if I manage to do that. So now you will see Managing Pages lesson, but on Teachable it's already published and one more is published and there will be more and more, so it will be faster. So if you want to get those lessons faster, you still can go to laravaldaily.teachable.com, subscribe to yearly membership and get those lessons faster. But in terms of content, it will be identical and I will still give you step-by-step -step instructions. Now let's go to the today's topic. We continue creating our Checklister project in live mode or almost live mode. Topic of the day is managing pages, but before we do that, let's fix the first bug that I got from the client. A few days ago, I've deployed the project as it is on a staging server that I've created. How I did that, I thought to create a video separately on that, but apparently I have totally the same video already published. It's about Laravel Forge and creating a new server with Laravel Forge with DigitalOcean example, so I will link in the description below the link to that video so you can rewatch that. So I've posted it on staging server, emailed the client that they can manage checklist group and checklists, and I have the first bug report. So client wanted to change the checklist group name and failed because, for example, if we go to our checklist group, we don't change anything or we change just one letter, the name has been already taken. And of course, I immediately knew what the problem was because I've done it times and times again in my career. If I use the same form request class within store and update method, the unique validation rule is different for store and update. So if we go to that request class, we have unique checklist groups. And for the update method, we need to ignore that checklist group ID, the actual ID that we're editing, the ID2 in this case. So let's generate another form request class separate for updating the checklist group. So PHP Artisan make request update checklist group request like this. Then we use that one instead of store checklist. So update checklist group request and it will be almost identical to the store request. So true here and then we copy the list of rules from here. So return name unique. And here we need to change that unique to rule unique ignore. And if we go to the official documentation of Laravel validation, here's the general rule unique table and column. This is exactly what we've provided unique table and the column is name. So the same one, but there is a specific section about forcing unique rule to ignore a given ID. And with that syntax, you cannot use just unique. You need to use rule unique ignoring certain record. So we need to have required. And that's why, by the way, the array syntax is better than just this unique or something. So instead of this unique, I can copy and paste rule unique. Also, we need to include the rule here, use eliminate validation rule. For some reason, PHP Storm didn't really autocomplete it for me. So rule unique of checklist groups, ignore user ID. How do we get that user ID? or in our case, it's checklist group ID. A temptation is to use the request, but that would be a security issue. So you have something like ID2, and you could use, for example, request ID or something like that, or request, for example, segment of request, which is 
segment number three or something like that but that would be a security issue and that is specifically specified in the laravel documentation that you should never pass any user request to the ignore so how do we get the current checklist group id in the form request we don't have that in fact when we use the form request we have access to all that request including checklist group so we can use this checklist group it is accessible as an object with one difference so that checklist group controller has a parameter of checklist group which is camel case but in the form request for some reason i'm not sure if it's inside of the framework somewhere it's checklist group underscore in snake case so let's try it out refresh the page we save and it saves so no more errors and if we try to change that it also saves correctly so everything is good and we have our updated form request and now after this short intro let's get into the topic of this video is managing pages so this is how the client envisioned the pages like menu item to manage them and we have that pages already implemented in a page controller that we created last lesson but it's not really functioning because it's not attached to the menu item or in fact we probably will change menu item because for now we have pages with the idea that it is a crud to create new pages and delete pages but in fact what client actually wants and we shouldn't over deliver on that they want to edit the pages for welcome and get consultation so two pages only so we can seed them hard code them and allow only to edit them maybe in the future if they want to add more pages but those more pages will then contain more logic like where to show them those two would have exactly the places on the front end and we will get to them later so let's create pages model hard code those two in seeds and create menu items in here not the pages but exactly as the client wanted pages and then two links to the exact pages so first we have the page model which is empty now and let's make fillable two fields title and content just those two and we need to create the migration php artisan make migration create pages table we haven't created that yet and in the pages table in the migration so database migrations and the last one we create table string title and table text content okay let's migrate those artisan migrate and now we need to seed those two exact pages so php artisan make cedar pages cedar like that and then in that page of cedar if we open that up let's just manually create so page create title equals welcome content equals welcome the same thing and then let's duplicate and what was the title of another page was get consultation get consultation with get consultation like this then we add that page cedar to the main database cedar file so in addition to user cedar we duplicate that line and add pages cedar to be honest i never came up with one format to cedar class name user cedar is singular pages cedar is plural it could be user table cedar i've seen it and i've done it in the past so suit yourself manually we can launch that seed by doing artisan db seed dash dash class pages cedar and now we have two pages in our database let's check the database so database table pages and we have those two pages great in the menu item on the sidebar sidebar blade i think from what i remember let's change the logic from admin and then pages to pages and then for each of all the pages we will link to the edit page of that exact page and to be honest i'm not a big fan of doing for each in the blade directly but in this case it's literally just getting for each of all the items i think it's okay to do that in the blade and you would probably argue with me here but that's the easier and faster way instead of doing view composer or adding additional logic and service provider or something i'm just going for simplicity here and for each so route would be admin pages edit 
with page as a parameter. And instead of pages, we have the title of page title. And this should be probably down below somewhere because it's not that important. The pages will be edited really rarely. So I think it should be here down below. And let's refresh our page with the sidebar. Refresh. And we have pages. Welcome, get consultation. And we don't even need that base anymore because we had that as an example and we don't need that anymore. So we're left with pages, welcome, get consultation and logout is kind of attached to the pages, which is kind of wrong. So let's create another sidebar enough title, for example, which would get the padding. And for example, let's call it other and then log out. Yeah, now it looks better. And now if we click welcome or get consultation, we land on the exactly edit page of that page. For now, we haven't created the edit. Let's do it now. And pages edit is really similar visually to task edit. So if we open tasks edit blade, we can do almost the same thing. And even with the classic editor of CK editor, we can do file save as another folder of pages edit blade. And that's it. And then we can remove that store task error bag from the other task. The route action would be checklist task. No, we need pages update. And the parameter is page method put edit task edit page title will be not the task name, but page title name title label for title. And then description is content. So content copy name content task text area. Let it be task text area. We will actually work on CK editor a bit more in the upcoming lessons. So for now I will leave it. We will refactor it a bit and the value is page content. Okay. Save task, save page. And now let's refresh our error page and let's see if we have something here. Pages edit not found. Of course it should be not pages edit, but admin pages edit. So admin pages edit refresh and we have our edit page actually editor and for the update we will use another form request that we generate here php artisan make request update page request now we use it here to the update page request we go here authorize true and title equals required and content is also required like this. And then in the update method, we do page update request validated and redirect back to admin pages index. Let's try to update the page. Let's have dot 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 here and let's add some bold text here and update view pages index not found. Oh, because it's we're not redirecting to admin pages index. We should redirect to the same edit with the same page, but with message of success, or actually it should be underscore success. And in the edit on top, we add same thing that if errors any. So if session success and if or actually session message is the key. I will add div class alert alert info from what I remember it's bootstrap class session message. Okay, let's try it out again. So pages one edit. It's actually saved in the database. The redirect was wrong. So let's add something else. Save page and we are redirected back with the success. Actually, it's not the right place for that. I think if session message probably should be in the card body here like this. Let's try it out again. Save success. Great. Now let's clean up our page controller because we don't need majority of those methods. We only need edit and update store show those are relevant destroy as well and also in the routes web where we have that page controller as a route resource we only need two methods route resource only 
array of edit and update like this. Let's reformat it with PHP Storm automatic formatting. And let's try again if it actually still works. Welcome, save, it works.